Tuesday saw the regular Super Cruise News livestream from Frontier. In this video we're going to go over the headline announcement and also the details that you might have missed. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe, click the little bell icon and remember to select all notifications and to further help support the work of this channel you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. In response to a question fired at the community team on a livestream last week Arthur had promised that this week, on Tuesday in fact, that we'd have more information on the state of play with VR support in Odyssey and, true to his word, last night the community got their answer very early in the stream. Aside from some bug fixes there is currently no plan to develop VR further in Odyssey. Just in case you're unaware, for clarity VR does work in Odyssey as long as you're in a vehicle of some sort. As soon as you transition to legs however a flat screen image is instead presented in the headset meaning you can play with a VR headset on when on foot. It's just not true VR until you get back in a vehicle again. Suffice to say the news will be a huge disappointment to anyone in the VR community looking forward to playing the on foot portions of the Odyssey experience in full VR someday. It's worth noting that later in the stream it was reiterated that the team are not saying never just that it's not being worked on anymore at the moment but honestly given this announcement I wouldn't hold out a lot of hope at this point that you'll see the on foot full VR experience in Odyssey going forward. Arthur has said on multiple occasions since Frontier embarked on their revamped communication drive that he'd rather we had an answer we didn't like on stuff than no answer at all and this is most definitely an answer. As part of the bug fixes going into VR there is apparently a fix for the VR DSS interface going into update 5. More on that patch in a moment. Update 4 for Odyssey is due to arrive on Thursday morning UK time. Full patch notes will be made available once the patch goes live. However the team did reiterate again that the patch contains a raft of UI flow improvements to the galaxy map as well as significant improvements and changes to the lighting in the game. The team described a few of the UI changes that are going in on Thursday overall. It includes a bunch of quality of life improvements particularly to the bookmark system with the changes including a new favourites tab. Overall the experience in the galaxy map UI is said to be slicker, faster and more convenient which was good to hear and one significant point for the explorer community the galaxy's various nebulae will once again be searchable in the galaxy map. One quick note for your diary, we mentioned update 5 earlier that was scheduled for next Thursday the 24th of June however it's apparently such a large patch that it has now been put back a week to the 1st of July. The big headliner for Odyssey at the moment is of course performance issues that some players are seeing. Whilst the next two patches both contain more performance enhancements it was pointed out on the stream that once patch 5 drops in a couple of weeks that isn't the end of the performance development. The process of optimization and performance enhancement continues afterwards. We were particularly pleased to hear that fact underlined on the stream as there had been a fair bit of anxiety in the community that onward performance enhancements and improvements would suddenly stop with patch 5. The plan for patch 5 also included the addition of team missions for Odyssey. I want to call them wing missions but I can't or can I? Either way seriously looking forward to those the joined up multiplayer mission experience is something that's very much been missing from the on foot gameplay in Odyssey. It's worth noting here as well that elsewhere on the stream the CM team made mention of the fact that they're keen as is the community to see a melding of Horizons and Odyssey style missions where a mission will have a ship component to it and an Odyssey on foot component to it. It was in fact one of the things that was discussed with the dev team on Tuesday when they were discussing various things that could be added to the Odyssey development going forward. And on the subject of development of the expansion going forward the team were keen to point out on a couple of occasions during the stream that more content is being added to Odyssey. The obvious caveat being that this initial post launch fixing phase has to be overcome first but they were very adamant that there absolutely is a plan for more content to be added. 
and with regard to communicating about that content they are planning on having monthly development focused streams including guest members of the development team starting at the end of this month that will talk about what features are being worked on. Again good to hear from FDev themselves that more is being added to Odyssey and that going forward they will be communicating to the player base about that content on a monthly basis. During the stream the community managers did make mention of the fact that they'd heard the community commentary regarding engineering materials such as smear campaigns being extremely hard to find and that that had been passed on to the dev team and that material gathering in general for suits and weapons was the subject of an ongoing review. No specific promises were made at this time but it's possible from that comment that some of the numbers may change in the future once the dev team have had a chance to see from the back end what the effects are with the current process of gathering and engineering. If you've been keeping an eye on the forums you'll know that the storyline running in game that the CM team refers to as the Azimuth campaign reached a major milestone last week. The team mentioned that the campaign has just entered phase 2 of a total of 6 phases and that it should be further advanced this Thursday in some regard. So if you've been following the fate of the crews of the Adamaster and the Hesperus and humanity's first contact with the Thargoids make sure you keep an eye on the game this week. Interestingly the team did make mention after being prompted by a question from the stream chat of power play. The answer was somewhat woolly with details but it's clear from the response that power play is being discussed internally and the CM team did promise some more meaningful answers on the subject going forward. The subject of a Vista genomics module for fleet carriers was briefly discussed and it is being discussed internally. That seems like a sensible addition to us but we'll see what comes back from Frontier. On the subject of fleet carriers by the way we forgot to mention last week that an on foot concourse for fleet carriers is also being discussed internally at Frontier. We're keeping our fingers crossed for that one as well. And elsewhere the community request for player character emotes has been heard and passed on to the dev team. Again fingers crossed as honestly the current universal greeting of crouch stand crouch stand is bound to get someone arrested soon. Overall it does seem that the policy of more open and honest communication is being implemented. It might not yet yield the answers everyone was hoping for but there are now answers coming from the Cambridge developer as was promised and that has to be classed as progress. So now that we have definitive answers on ship interiors and VR going forward what new additions would you like to see to Odyssey and what feature would you like to see added first. Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing to the channel and maybe take a look at one of our other videos linked on screen right now.